right, here we are at the uh, Grove of Anaheim with uh, Big D and the kids' table. Uh, guys, question for you. Yes. You're back on the road again, uh, and uh, my question to you, and the question that we get by from a ton of fans, how are you feeling, Dave? How are you oh, feeling I, these days? Pretty good. This is my, I got shows my scar. And uh, I feel fine. It was basically five months out of my life I had to dedicate to, uh, to going into hospitals and then coming out and watching Indiana Jones movies on <laughs> painkillers. We just said, listen, this is what happened. We made a commitment and a promise that if, if, if what the results were from the biopsy was something very serious, then we would drop all four plans and go home and honor our agreement with Dave and his parents. The German promoter for the show that we had to cancel, um, he, he put it on the internet late at night, that's the reason why the show is canceled is because of health problems and Dave has cancer. So we got like, I don't want to use the word leaked, but it got leaked to the internet, you know what I mean? So, sure. so our booking agent, Ian, um, said, do you want me to do a, a proper press release? So we woke up the next day and boom, when I opened my email and all those, you know, the Twitters and the Facebook, you know, like it was just like crazy stuff and, you know, like everyone just exploded on it. I, I make the joke that it was my most Lindsay Lohan moment. That was an 11 grand bill for to turn around and go home, so. Yikes. I mean, obviously, it's not, everything's not about money, but it's still a serious situation, you know? Do you have any messages for people that have uh, that oh. same illness? You know, I have what I call drive-through cancer. Which, you know, it's on the thyroid, you go in and take the thyroid out, and it's gone. So, I'm very, very lucky. So, if anyone gets thyroid cancer, uh, I would say, you know, don't sweat it. You know, it's, uh, it's just, just do what they say. Get it done with, don't get in your head too much, and it'll be totally fine. I'd say after a friend of yours gets that kind of news, everyone says, are you okay for the first week or two weeks? But then, like three months, four months down the road, you're still dealing with it. Sure. But no one really is checking up on you as much. So whenever a friend is going through something, keep the checkups going. I think that's kind of nice. You guys do a variety of different uh, videos for a little bit. What? compels you guys to determine what city you're going to do one of those in? That, that's a good question and we never meant to do more than one. We did the one and then in old Warp Tour, uh, MXPX came on our bus real quick to grab a beer and saw us watching it and said like, what is that? And they're like, we want to do one tomorrow. And so we did one with them the next sure. day, which then set the Warp Tour on fire. So we were doing them like every other day, you know? Sure. And so usually what does it is people ask us. Yeah. And um, and they're always funny about it because they're always like, no, you don't, you might not want it, but you think we can do a little bitch video? And we're always like, yeah, of course, let's do it. Sure. <laughs> you know, because it's fun. Yeah, so. yeah. It so, comes down to peer pressure. Yeah, it comes down <laughs> to peer pressure. Because it comes down to, do we have a radio? Is there beer? Yeah. And come on, let's do it. But what's great, what's romantic about it is that uh, it's, it's Brian and Vince from Suburban Legends, and they were the first two people in the first video to drink a little bitch. Also, in the fall, we're going to be releasing uh, the Dead Sides, which is you know a compilation of a lot of old recordings we've done over the years, and uh, it's going to be a, a two album kind of thing where like the first record is all these like older songs, the next one is all like should be experimental dumb stuff that we've done throughout the years too. And then this Halloween, hopefully, our uh, DVD of footage from 16 years of being a band will come out you can see us go from 1996 you know hilariously small big D to, to now.